right, good afternoon, everybody. I am Liz Fuller with the Southport Historical Society, and I am here today talking to one of the artists from the Up Your Arts Southport Open Your Door project. And I have Mr. Chris Wallace with me, and I'm really excited to get an update on your progress in your door, Chris. So what can you tell us? Uh, I haven't started yet. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Uh, get behind I, you. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's about oh, I'm gonna make a guess. It's about seventy-five to eighty percent finished. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see behind me, and and I, I sent you a, a photo too. I hope hope you got that yesterday or early today. I think so. I'll double check. Yeah. Well, anyway, it's 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 just what it looks like now, and um, uh -huh. the the top panel is left to be done, and actually the next to the top panel with the with the people in it, the happier people in it is um, is uh, not quite finished. I, I've got a little more um, modification of the color and lighting on it to to satisfy me. But uh, and I've got a little work to do on the top and uh, on the very top. I, I want to finish it off up there. And some things that go along the sides where these two big blue stripes are that I added. Um, I have some doorknobs and some latches and things like that to, to go along with the open and close uh, concept. So I, I've got all those, <laughs> had fun at the ReStore over on Long Beach Road buying uh, old latches and doorknobs and things like that. I'm, I'm looking for a doorbell, by the way, if you happen to oh. see. <laughs> uh, I want to put a doorbell on also. But uh, yeah, and the stand, um, uh, I, I got the stand a few weeks ago and um, two weeks ago today, I think. And um, I um, I didn't realize that it was going to cover up some of the bottoms, so, and, and that, that's fine. I know it has to be sturdy, so I added um, two uh, two by sixes to the bottom of my door just to slide in there, so my door is now raised up just a little, uh, but uh, I, I think the two by sixes gave it enough weight, so it's, I don't think there's a chance of it being knocked over. Um, oh, that's good. By, by any means and also I, i've I, at your suggestion and uh, at uh, bonnie's suggestion uh, I, i'm going to cover the bottom panel with um with some plexiglass i already have a piece but i haven't attached that yet i thought i'd wait till the very end and just you know in case you get some dust in there uh so that's uh that's about all i got to do i'd say i'd say 75 percent to 80 percent is done that's nice. So the plexiglass is a safety issue because uh, you're using real barbed wire um, right. with it, which is very, very powerful statement. We just want to protect anybody that's, uh, you know, little people that are down there on the, <laughs> at that level. Yeah, sure. And, and, you know, I didn't think about that. Uh, and so I'm glad you guys brought it up. And, and that was that was my solution for it. And I found some plexiglass that is very clear. And I'm happy uh -huh. about that uh, and, very, and very thin. But it, but it's, uh, you know, it, it protects it, and uh, I think that's going to work out just fine. That's great. And now, um, as I recall, the um, the image before or the door before had kind of a, a greenish background, and this looks more black. Is that just the light, or did you change the color scheme? Uh, good, good question. Actually, and, and good, good memory. Uh, it, it was, it was not green though. It was a bl light blue green. As a matter of fact. The, the painting department at Lowe's ran it through a computer. I, I took a piece that I cut out of one of the panels over there one day and said, I, I need a color that matches this as close as possible. And they said, we can, we can scan that and match it exactly. So I bought some, the, the two blue stripes back here are the same color as the door. And if you, if you look close, uh, this, the frame right there uh -huh. uh, it, is the actual door. It's the old door. I, I did not repaint that. That's, uh, that's that blue. So, uh -huh. so the, the blue is going to show through in several places. And uh, I kind of like that idea of having part of the old door there uh, at the same time, you know, painting most of it. Yeah, and it, and it does have kind of this dark setting that for where these where these green things are actually. They're black things that are growing through the green, through the dark green, uh, it's like a vine. I've, I've used that image, a similar image before. To represent growth and represent, you know, uh, the 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 rebirth in the springtime. Um, I got to say though, I know one of your questions that you had sent out for us to think about was uh, any part that was troublesome. Uh, 
uh, most of mine has gone pretty well. And, but at, at one point in time, about the first week in August, when th- when numbers started changing for the, for the COVID, uh, the Delta variant of COVID, uh, I, I really, I was pretty sad about it like everybody else was, but I also got worried about my concept because I really liked the idea of it kind of blooming upward and becoming something much more happy and much more open. And uh, then, then this darn Delta variant kind of changed all that. And, and I got worried about it and, and I really, I, I set it aside. I didn't work on it for about a week. I was thinking, you know, do I want to change my concept in any way? And I decided to uh, take a, ho- a hopeful and positive approach and say, nope, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my, my same idea. So that was, that's the only part that's really bugged me a little bit uh, about it is that I was a little worried that COVID was going to come back on us. I, I think I'm thinking by maybe by mid-October or when these get displayed, uh, maybe we'll be back on, on the right track. I hope so. I hope so too. And I, I really appreciate you giving it that much um, reflection and, and, and thought. And it, it was it was discouraging to all of us that this project was open your doors. We can come outside. It's safe to come outside. And um, yeah, we took a step backwards. So, um, so it's still the same message, maybe just a different trajectory, right? A little bit of different timeline around it, but still the same, the same, uh, overall story right where it was things were dark and they're getting better so yeah, yeah. um I'm, I'm really glad that you you persevered now one of the the um things you were pondering the last time i spoke to you was whether or not you were going to uh use real models for you, some of your people what did you decide to do about that i, I decided not to uh, i actually uh, i had some friends come over uh not just for that purpose they were visiting the beach at some couple uh, that got married that I grew up with and I said I, I want to you know, and they, they saw the beginning of the door and I said I, I want to take your pictures and maybe use you in here and there's another guy that you might have seen walking on the beach that walks every day uh, <laughs> he, and he's from uh, he's from San Salvador and uh, I've, I've met him and talked to him and we, we my wife and I seem to see him almost every day uh, as a matter of fact he, he's on vacation in San Salvador right now he's coming back in a month his name's Alex but uh, and I came, I, I never told him that I was thinking about using him as a model because I know that so many people have seen him on the beach. He, he walks long distances every day. He's from Southport. He lives in Southport in one of the apartments. But anyway, I decided not to do that. I, I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get tangled up in trying to make likenesses. Uh, and and I've, I've done that before in a, uh, in a mural I did about a year and a half ago for a 50th anniversary of a school. And I, I took pictures of some people and some old photographs of people who are no longer alive that uh, that I, I used likenesses. And it takes it takes time for that. It takes takes lots of patience. And sometimes it takes painting flesh color back over it again and starting over. And and I got to that point and I thought, you know, I, I think I'm just going to keep some of the images that I I've, I've found online. And uh, the actual the, the guy that's in the middle of this next to the top thing, it, resem- it resembles Alex. <laughs> but because I, I drew him out that way and uh uh i don't know if i'll ever tell him or not that 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 resembles him but he's a he's a fine fella well and when he went when these videos get put out then maybe <laughs> someone, <Yeah>. <laughs> someone will tell him or he will see them he'll, he'll, he'll see us <laughs> as might as well um okay so um well it looks like you're making wonderful progress that you're on track and um it, it looks great so um and we've got a few weeks left, so I, I don't think there's any concern about you finishing on time, right? Oh, no, I'll get it done. Okay, so can I check back in with you in a few weeks when it's done yeah. and, and get the, the end of the story, the rest of the story? Sure. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I hadn't looked lately, but I think the, the door is due on the 17th, October 17th. Does that sound right? Yeah. That, and that's, uh, is that a Monday? I don't even know. I think uh, it's a Friday. Okay. I, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, I will have it done. I really, I really hope to have it done a little bit early, so I can just kind of sit back and look at it and see if I want to make any changes or any touch ups. And uh, I talked to um, uh, what's the guy's name who who was in charge of the doors? I'm sorry, I Bob. forgot. Yeah, Bob. Uh, Bob delivered the stand o- over um, over to my house. We had a, we had a date and a time set for me to come pick it up, and he called and said, "I'm in the neighborhood. I'm going to bring your standbys." That's great. 
So uh, I talked to him about maybe putting a ceiling on it so that when auction time comes, it might make it a little more uh, attractive to somebody if it's if it's sealed up and can withstand some weather. Um, and I've, I've used um, a sealant before that I really like. And um, matter of fact, I have a painting that hangs on the outside of our house that's been sealed up now since February. And it still looks the same. It's nice and clear. It hasn't yellowed. And uh, so I'm, I'm hoping I have time to get satisfied with it and then seal it. That sounds like a really good plan. And and you're right, it gives people the option of, of having it outside. And um, it, it's really it's really um, very well done and, and uh, tells a wonderful um, story um, that we all hope comes true soon. And um, and it's very, um, it's very colorful and very attractive. So I'm sure people will wanna um, show it off. So, okay, so we will be, I'll be back in touch with you then um, in a few weeks. Okay, first week of October, maybe something like that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. Sounds good. Just okay. shoot me an email and we'll, we'll, we'll set up a time. Okay, thank you very much, Chris. It was great talking to you. Yeah, appreciate your help. Yeah.